Joey Popolo plays fullback for us. He's one of our unsung heroes. He's 5'10", 255 pounds, one of the strongest guys in the weight room. Was a walk-on initially, worked his way to earn a scholarship, and is going to be a, a big part of our offense. Joey Papulo has to be one of my favorite people on the football team. From where he came from as a former walk-on, not, not even an invited walk-on, but someone that tried out the first day of school and making the squad and, uh, and kind of working his way through up into his senior year and earning a scholarship and, and becoming our starting fullback now for the last three years. Joey Popolo is one of our players that you know, I think we have one every year. Started out as a walk-on, you know, came, tried out to the program. You know, did a scout team, things along, you know, like those lines that we supposed to do academically, kind of work through things. And then he's a kid that all of a sudden started really, really, really just taking advantage of, of our strength coaches and the weight room. And you saw his body change tremendously to the point where, you know what, this kid can play. And not only can this kid play, but you know what? He's going to be in starting rotation, and we need this player. And then so much so that you know he earned a scholarship. You know, every year, like I said, we've got you know one or two seniors that that same story. They kind of start out that way, you know, kind of unknown, what wasn't really recruited out of high school. Thought, hey, they join the team for fun, and before they know it, they're a full scholarship student athlete starting. It's pretty cool. And that was the ultimate goal coming into campus here. I knew I wanted to get a scholarship, help out my family a little bit, not go out of school in debt. But um, that was the ultimate goal. I mean, the journey was the toughest thing ever. I knew it was going to be hard to play. I mean, I had Billy Giovanetti and Brendan Kelly and Kevin Garvey in front of me for two years. And I kind of just knew I had to learn the ropes behind them a little bit before I could play. They taught me everything, like they, them and the coaches, obviously. But they helped mold me into the player I am today. And it was just tough. Like, I had to, everything I have here that I've earned, I, I had to work my butt off for. And I think they know what I've been through, especially the walk-ons. I feel like the walk-ons look up to me a lot just because they're like, oh, okay, he, he earned a scholarship, like, he came from the bottom, basically. Like, I can do that, too. I kind of want to instill that in all of them, that it doesn't matter if you're a walk-on. If you're the best player out there, you're going to be able to play. That's what the coaches say. They don't care if you're a walk-on scholarship. If you're the best player, you're going to be out on that field playing. What he does in the weight room alone sets a standard that everyone wishes they could meet and, uh, and be a part of. The intensity in the weight room is something that you don't see out of a lot of people. It's something that you think only happens in the football field, but he attacks every portion of the game with trying to get better you know, at a high level, at an intense level, and that's why you see the numbers he has in the weight room. And, and then the production he's had over the years in the fullback position. Uh, it's my workout partner. Every day this summer we've lifted together. Uh, we push each other. You can be vocal at times. Joey, he goes after it in the film room. He goes after it on the field and in the weight room. Probably the strongest guy I've ever came across since I've you know been part of football. He really goes at it. He works hard. And he's, he's also very smart. He doesn't get enough credit, but he's very smart. He's been a great asset to our offense. In the weight room, that was always been emphasized ever since in high school. Like our high school weightlifting program was really tough. And our coach always emphasized that in us, that the weight room always produces better outcomes on the field. Joey Papua is a great guy. Any strength coach would love to have him in the, in the weight room because everything you tell, anything you tell him to do, he's gonna do. He's gonna go out there, work real hard, push real hard whether it be the Olympic lifts, whether it be the power lifts, whether it's running, whatever he does, he does 100%, and it's, it's great to see. I just go in there and I block people, and I do my job. I do my 111th, and I try and contribute to the team as much as possible. I come here with a hard work ethic, and I, I bring the same attitude every day, and I just want to get better every day. If you said, hey, what's Joey? Pride. Pride. He's so prideful. He works so hard. He's a guy you want in foxhole with everything he does takes absolute, the most attention to detail he can take, the absolute amount of pride he can put in it, and he just works. He don't look up. He just wants to win. As far as expectations for myself, just being in uh, any situation guy as far as first and ten, like short yardage, but I mean, just be utilized more as far as, all right, like we can throw to this guy. He has good, ha good enough hands to catch the ball, so we're going to throw to this guy. Or it's fourth and one and we need a first down, let's hand the ball off to him. But also, like, obviously lead blocking and getting up there and doing the dirty work in the trenches with the O-line. So just an overall player that can do anything.